Good day, good day everybody. It's a wonderful, beautiful day outside and a lot, a lot that's happening. Wow, Corona really touched everybody. I mean, think about it. Just a few months ago, we had anti-Semitic attacks up to the rise like never seen before over here, where it was up to three times a day, four times a day in Hanukkah, just during that week. And now we're dealing with this coronavirus worldwide. Worldwide. And what, what, do, what do we see the most? That it's affecting Jews. In what way? In what way? Of course it's affecting the world. It's affecting everybody. But it's affecting us big time with the shuls being shut down now. Everywhere, everywhere. We even got to the point where the Rebbe's house got shut down. Never before. Never before. And now, mikvahs is closed down everywhere. Everything got shut down. Israel is got shut down. Which, Baruch Hashem, everything is being shut down now. Baruch Hashem. Thank God, because everything that comes from God is good. But what's even better about this sign and everything that's going on is that when are we going to wake up? When are we all going to wake up? I mean, honestly, I'm very, very, myself, guilty of everything that's going on between each other as Jews. Like, we have to take a fact that we received anti-Semitic attacks, that we see this coronavirus right now, how it's affecting, like, Jewish life completely. <laughs> like, weddings are being stopped, or, or being, like, down to a minimum, or they're still happening, because Baruch Hashem, Simchas is still happening. And not the fact we're talking about with crowds and everything, but everything's being affected. People have to reschedule, people have to make their Simchas smaller, People are not davening in minions. Well, not too many. I mean, davening in a minion is still legal out here. You know, you're allowed to have no more than 10 people, so you might as well do it. And especially we're doing it outside in the fresh air now. Since we have that opportunity, thank God. But if we just really take a look at the issues. Let me tell you something. Four years ago, I moved to Crown Heights. I saw it the first time, and you know what? When it was Hanukkah, and it was so peaceful. It was so amazing. I saw this life in 770 that I never witnessed ever, ever in my history, and I felt this energy that I never, ever witnessed in my history. It turned me around, it sparked me around. All the good I saw in there, all the amazing good I saw in there, and, and, and the miracles that we see with, with all the Rebbe's work. With everything that God gave him the tools to do for us, to show us the path, <laughs> to show us the path of how to be true, true shluchim, of how to be true, true God soldiers. A lot of us forget it sometimes, which I did myself. I mean, also my Yetzirah very much attracted me to 7-7. You got to see that place on Tishrei. It's like, it's like a war. Fights breaking out, behaviors, attitudes, which myself I'm very, very guilty of because my Yetzirah feeds into it. And, it. and it's a learning process. You know how to heal your animal. But it, it's more than ever is it when we need unity, when we need Abbas Israel. Getting into arguments, bickering, who's what, who's who, how's this, how's that, it, it's heard everywhere. And it's like people as a whole, as an entire community, as the whole world, a, a, all the nations, how we behave, how we act. Like just now, I'm trying to work out and I put on the rap music thinking it's going to hype me up. And it's like what I hear, it's the whole world. It's the whole world. We're all, we all should take everything that's going on right now as the biggest wake-up call because we're all being affected about it. I mean, seriously, people are brawling for toilet paper. People think that, you know, let me tell you something. My mom called me up and told me a joke she reminded me of, actually, that I saw on Facebook. And she said, the aliens flew down here and saw that all the people were dead. God forbid. <laughs> but they said, you know what? Look, we noticed something. They all have clean, they all have clean buttholes. I mean, come on, this is what the world has come to. 
or what the world has come to with the way that the world just keeps sinning with its negative behaviors like Drag Queen Story Hour. Yes, I'm going to get to the Seven Laws of Noahide. Sexual behavior, man. Or the gay parade in Israel. You know, in God's country. You guys created a Saddam and Gomorrah over there. I, listen, I, if I'm not politically correct, mind you, I'm just speaking the truth of God's world. But just us as human beings, <laughs> the way we behave and the way we forget sometimes, and we're all, we're all guilty of sin. None of us are tzaddikim. There's only a few, very few true out there. And many of them are wonderful rabbis that I met. I know rabbis that follow the Torah to the max and won't even go like this, and if they hear Lush and Horror, they run from it. Or if they hear the Shtuyot that's going on between people, <laughs> You know, they look for solutions and they ask for people to come to their rubs and to listen to them. Listen to your mentors, listen to the wise, listen to the wise. And it, 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 takes, it takes something like this to maybe hit us all and to start following God's laws. The seven, the seven laws of Noahide, and for the Jews as much of the 613 as we can, it's one step at a time. But the main law, like in this week's Parsha, is Shabbat. <laughs> and take it very seriously, it's Shabbat, because again, Israel is shut down. I got family in California that are shut down. I got, we're, we're all like getting like shut down right now from everything, from our everyday lives, from our everyday lives, which can go on. And I, what I do see, what's the most amazing thing I see is that everybody's getting on the internet. And they're teaching their students Torah, and they're teaching people worldwide Torah. That's what we need more of. We need to keep continuing the Rebbe's education as well. He gave us all the keys and all the tools to do what we need to do. And it's about time we start doing it. And one day, and the best way of doing it is everybody start uniting with greatness. There's some positive videos that I see that people are like in quarantine in Israel and they're playing music. They're in harmony. And it takes this to unite us all. Let's not put the blame game here on everybody. Let's stop blaming politics for all the crisis. Let's stop blaming, you know, conspiracy theory. Let's stop blaming everybody. Let's just start working all together. And stop killing each other over toilet paper or other stuyot and other aggression, like serious. I'm serious, and the biggest aggression is how people are combating each other. It's time everybody unites, it's a need. And, and the best way to unite is try Shabbos. Try Abbas Israel. Try caring for the next one. Try caring for your loved ones. And it all starts right here. We're all doing this, but there's always three pointing back. So let's all start unity. Let's all start uniting. Let's all start refining ourselves. It's a much need. It's a much need. And bring Simchas around to everybody. Bring Simchas around to everybody. That's our job. Everybody have a blessed, blessed, wonderful day. And just take a thought for a second. Let's stop arguing. Let's stop fighting on Facebook. It's like ridiculous. Or whatever it is, Instagram, WhatsApp, or passing crazy messages, disgusting messages. Let's start bringing messages of light. Let's start, let's start bringing messages of light. That's the best way. My boy Leon, <laughs> my boy Leon, I'm gonna tag you in this. You're, you inspired me, you inspired me. We'll be learning Tanya soon. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, everybody out there. It, it's time to just do the right thing. That's all, <laughs> that's all. The right thing will, will bring healing to everybody. The right thing will be the best way. Pray. As a matter of fact, Shabbos Mavarachim is the Shabbos. Read Tehillim. It's a day where we Jews should be reading Tehillim all day. It works for prayers. It works for Imuna. It works to help people recover. The power of prayers is amazing. It all works. And Imuna, strength and, and belief and hope and faith will, always, will also raise your strengths for everybody. For everybody. So again, no matter what's going on with this corona, hysteria, 
I mean, it's real. People are getting sick out there. People need to heal. But the hysteria needs to stop. The nonsense needs to stop. The talking needs to stop. Because let me tell you something. All the signs that we've been seeing, all the signs that we've been seeing with all the wars, how people are against Israel or the politics and everything, is just a sign to show Jews it's time for us to all get together, time to unite, and in good ways, in good ways. In good ways. I pray that there's no more violence. I pray that there's nobody getting sick. I pray that we all could unite together and work as one and stop mocking each other. Whether you're Mishachis, Nad Mishachis, Chabad, uh, Breslov, whether you're modern, whether you're orthodox, whatever you are, whether you're a Satmar, ultra orthodox, even in the Turi Karta. <laughs> We're all Jews. We're all Jews. And, and, and wake up. Wake up because we're all being affected. I don't care what sect of Jew you are. You're one Jew. You're one Jew. You're one Jew. We're all one Jew. We're all one Jew. And we were all given to give the half a shekel for a reason. The half a shekel each because... A half is on your half, and when we can all connect, we all become one. With the true one, the one up above. He's the one <laughs> that makes everything happen. I mean, world leaders are shaking in their pants right now because of everything that's going on. And I'm laughing about it because it, it, the reality hits that we could all be so stupid sometimes. <laughs> Especially myself, like. I know I'm continuously going, but it is. It needs to be reminded over and over and over again how much we need to unite. Think about them. Think about them. Think about how many more kids could be playing in this park right now if it wasn't for this crisis and people weren't worried. Think about our children of the future because they're going to be the leaders of the world as we need Mashiach now and, and we are their role models. And sometimes we act in front of them, not in our best manners. Sometimes we forget that there's even kids that see us in the way we behave. Because we don't see ourselves, and I take that also for myself big time. But sometimes we can overreact in situations. Sometimes we could really... It's time for our behavior to wake up. It's time for our Yates of Horrors is when we uh, slow them down. It's time we stop the lush and horror. It's time we stop all the crazy, all the nonsense, all the nasty behavior, all the disgusting ways that people behave. I mean, it's just a wake-up call for all, for all of us. Follow the seven laws. Jews, follow halacha. Do Shabbos. Do Shabbos, Do Shabbos please. It's important. Everybody have a blessed, wonderful day. Again, with this upcoming Shabbos, I wanted you all guys to have it in your thought that this is what we need to do to make it happen. That this is what's going to bring us closer to our people and our family. And we shouldn't speak bad words and have negative thoughts. That we should all be positive and unite as one.